According to a recent survey, 85% of trailers tested fail to have the minimum braking requirement. That's pretty scary. The NFU and BAGMA between them have come up with a list of simple ways to improve your trailer braking efficiency. We're going to check them out and see how much difference they really make. Okay, so obviously we need to adjust the brakes up. So as you can see, we're almost out of adjustment on this back here. So uh, we need to uh, move, the move the brake lever around on the spline shaft to meet so that the, uh, the actual ramp doesn't have so fast to travel to apply the brakes. Just pulling the lever off the spline shaft. Just crank that around with the steel sins. We're just going to tweak the shaft round so that we uh, can reposition the lever on, on back onto the splines to give us a great, greater amount of adjustment. And it's just a case of refitting the clevis back onto the lever. Now the lever sits back on the spline shaft further back so that we've now got more adjustment should we need it and the ram hasn't got to travel as far to apply the brakes. So now I'm just going to uh, tighten this back up and uh, put it all back together. One thing that is recommended by BAGMA and the NFU to improve braking efficiency is to change up to bigger diameter hose brake hoses. So uh, we're actually moving up from a quarter inch to a half inch. And you can see it's a huge difference in size and bore. So there's no doubt that the flow will definitely be increased by moving to the half inch hose, but it remains to be seen whether that will be reflected in the braking efficiency. The next thing after changing the hoses and testing the trailer to see if the efficiency is any better with, the, with bigger hoses is to try bigger rams. So we're going to fit 30 mil rams. Well, as you can see, there's a clear difference between the 20 mil and the 30 mil ram. So hopefully that will have an effect on the braking efficiency of the trailer. So you can see this standard 20 mil ram. We're actually going to replace the whole ram setup and spring setup with a uh, bigger 30 mil unit uh, and uh, test to see what the improvement in braking efficiency is. We're at the back axle now where you can see we've welded on a whole new ram setup. One thing to note is the 90 degree angle between the lever and the ram which ensures that all the pressure is forced onto the lever rather than being wasted driving vertically away. The new setup's far more effective. We've got one spring around the back here and a second on the front. Now we tried the 20mm ram with both the quarter inch and half inch hoses and we're going to do the same again with the larger ram setup to see what the difference is like. Now we conducted the trials at the 100 bar pressure, which is the standard pressure that BAGMA worked to during their tests. But we also ran at 140 bar, which is what we'd expect this deer to kick out. And the results were quite interesting, weren't they Nick? Yeah, we actually only found that by upping the pressure to that 140 bar level, that you only gained 1-2% extra braking efficiency, which isn't actually a significant amount really. Yeah. Um, so you don't actually gain that much more by testing at that level. The trailer we picked to test is pretty much a standard farm spec trailer. One of the best selling actually in the UK is an AS 12 tonner with standard farm spec running gear, just as you'd expect to find on most farms. Yes, to the results. Now we first tried the trailer with its original running gear on and braking efficiency was at a lowly 16%. Now, for the legal, to pass the legal minimum, it needs to be 25%, so that shows how far under it really was. So the next thing that we did 
was that we put half inch hoses on, replaced the quarter inch hoses brake lines that were on the trailer already with half inch hoses to see if there would be any difference. There wasn't. So from there we moved on to the rams. We chose 30mm rams rather than the 20mm original rams and equipped quarter inch hosing again. And for that we achieved a 35% braking efficiency which is above the limit. That's significantly better in fact. But to better that even further, we then put the bigger uh, half inch brake hoses back on again to those 30 millimeter rams and we saw an even bigger increase taking braking efficiency up to 39% which is well over that 25% minimum. So it just proves that it really does make a difference just fitting bigger rams and an even bigger difference fitting bigger rams and hoses.